Hello everybody. In the last video, I talked about how we were likely to see a bullish pennant situation take place on Bitcoin. So uh, let me turn the camera around so you can see. This is the last video that I posted, and it does look like we are seeing a bullish pennant situation play out right now. Here is current price, and you might be looking at this and saying, hey, are we breaking out from this bullish pennant situation? Are we going to break out to the downside? And the short answer is, I think not. What's more important about the trend lines that you draw is the actual market structure that's taking place. Some people might have their lines drawn differently. Some people might actually have them drawn further down like this. And this would actually still be valid because you see this trend line held resistance here. We broke through. Then it acted as support, support, support here. And now it looks like we're seeing support on this line right now. So the more important part is the market structure, not the lines that you're drawing. Uh, let me take out my brush tool. And the most important part about these triangle formations is that you're seeing lower highs, lower high, lower high, and higher lows, higher low, higher low. This is what makes a triangle pattern. It doesn't matter how the lines are drawn. This is uh, a symmetrical, you could call it a symmetrical triangle. You could call it uh, a wedge. The reason I call it a bullish pennant is because it tells a bigger story about what price did before we started consolidating, right? So this is like the pole of the pennant. And then this is the consolidation pattern where we have pennant formation. So this is why I feel like we're not quite breaking down just yet. Uh, it's possible we do, and if we do, I don't think we're going any lower than 26,000, but if it does, I'm going to be buying more. Now, the reason we're seeing this sharp sell-off is because of some comments made by Janet Yellen yesterday, suggesting curtailing cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, saying they are mainly used for illegal financing. And to this, I think, is complete BS, because only, you can Google this, what percentage of money is used to launder money using cryptocurrency? It is estimated that only 1.1% of cryptocurrency transactions are illicit. So it is complete BS that cryptocurrency is a concern for illicit activities. Most of the illicit activities are conducted on fiat currency using traditional banking mechanisms. So back to the charts, this is just more fear, uncertainty, and doubt. This happens in every single bull cycle, and this is no different. This is going to, to stay on people's minds for the next couple days. There might be a further sell-off. We might see lower prices, but eventually we will rise back up and break out to new all-time highs. And by the way, some regulation is not going to be bad for cryptocurrency. Some regulation is actually going to be good because there's a lot of institutions, a lot of big money that are waiting on the sidelines for regulations to happen so they have a level of certainty before that they jump in and invest uh, millions or billions of dollars. What do I think happens from here for Bitcoin? I don't know, it could go up, it could, it could go down, it could trade sideways, but I know that this year we are going to see a six figure bit Bitcoin and that is good enough for me. So I'm just using this sell off to accumulate more Bitcoin and I think everybody else should too. Remember, the big institutions want you to sell your Bitcoin. They want your Bitcoin. The more sellers that are in the market, the easier it is for them to accumulate their Bitcoin positions. Don't transfer your wealth to the big institutions. Keep it for yourself. That's all for me. Please like the video if you found this information valuable, and I'll see you next time.